Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kiana and I do a lot of sewing and fashion videos and today we are tackling prom and kind of I guess like wedding guest dresses, but prom. <laughs> Basically, my friends, prom is coming up. Am I going to prom? No, because I'm 24. So um, I am six, seven years removed from prom. I think prom is like, what, how old are you? 17, 18? But it's getting to that season. My prom is always May, but I know some people have it in April and some people even end of March. So I wanna start working on a sewing pattern and making some prom dresses to either give you guys inspo, but also, to put out a sewing pattern for you guys so that you can use it if you would like. I did this last year. I'll put it up on the screen. I did a cow neck prom dress. This was such a hit. A lot of people use it for prom, but a ton of people also use it for wedding guest dresses. It's just such a versatile dress. So I wanna do that again this year and kind of hit two birds with one stone. Already, I'm kind of inspired by this dress from my mood board, obviously it's a short dress, but I was thinking maybe I could do it long. So I'm really feeling that. But first we're gonna go to the mall and just check out what's on display for prom, see what is trending. And I'm gonna ask you guys on Instagram stories what your dream prom dress is or get wedding guest dress is so that you guys can send in some photos and I can take a look at what everyone's loving nowadays. So let's go to the mall. I like how this is like, like smooth. Like it's, there's no like seams. That's like, that's really cute. I love the neckline and I like how it's simple. It's like just an easy neckline. Ooh, cross in the back. I think I'll try this on. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna try on some of the dresses because I wanna see what I like on me and just like what looks good. I love this black dress. It's the same as that pink that I was in love with, but you can't really see it. So I'm gonna try on the pink too. But it reminds me of the dress I showed you at the beginning of this video that I designed. So we were already on the right track. But what I learned from this also is that I really am obsessed with tears and I like that see-through element in like the corset top. So I definitely wanna incorporate those and you guys also like that too and want me to incorporate tears and some type of corset element this i was obsessed with just because the neckline and the simplicity of this i didn't love the open back maybe it's just because i'm getting older but <laughs> if i want this dress to be prom friendly and wedding guest friendly it can't be something with like an open back this was not my favorite for me because something with bust cups doesn't usually fit everyone you need to have around like a certain size bust for them to like look like they fit so i felt like this wasn't gonna work for everyone for a pattern and this also just reminded me of the dress i made last year but sorry sorry to this dress like worst quality like the cow was not giving cow she was not cowling and by the way i'm not gonna copy any of these dresses we're just using this as like inspo but yeah i didn't really like this this one i did not love for myself. I felt like you could see the lining underneath. You can see where that slip ends. And I liked how, oh no, I do not like that ruching in the back on me personally. It's cute, but she's not for me. I just thought that this wasn't a super flattering dress on me. So I don't wanna take any elements of this dress. This, what the heck is that slit doing? That slit is in a scary position. Like we are an inch away from becoming exposed especially if you walk, like, I feel like this design is poor. I know that front slits are trendy, but that will not be taken into the design. Okay, so after trying on all those dresses, I wanna show you what I came up with. This is going to be the final design. We love the tiers, we love the flounces, and I wanna do something with sleeves as well, because a lot of you guys said you would love some sleeves. Um, so just some little flouncy sleeves. But the idea behind this is that it can be really customizable. So yes, you can do this long, dress with four tiers or you could do three tiers make it a midi dress perfect for like a wedding guest or make it a mini dress with just two tiers you could do it with the sleeves you could do it without the sleeves you could do it with all the flounces you could do it without all the flounces the options truly are endless oh and you can do it like with the bust gathers without the bust gathers this is going to be such a customizable pattern so i'm very excited 
We can use it for many occasions. So let's go pattern it. All right, so on TikTok and shorts and stuff, I promise you guys a draping tutorial, an in-depth tutorial. So here it is. We're going to be draping the bodice to create the pattern for this dress. So first I'm using washi tape to mark out all my style lines. Yes, there's a thing called draping tape, but I actually like washi tape more because it's inexpensive and it's usually not as sticky and doesn't ruin your pins as much. So I am a fan of like quarter inch washi tape. So like I said, just taping out all of those style lines, really take your time with this because this is the base of your pattern. This is your drape. So make sure you like all those style lines um, because you don't wanna have to go change that later. Okay, and for the drape, we are going to be using muslin fabric. This is what you wanna use for draping. So I am just going to cut out squares of fabric for each pattern piece. I'm gonna make a snip into the fabric and then rip it so that it makes the fabric perfectly square. You don't wanna cut squares and you don't wanna just take random pieces of muslin. You want to rip squares. Um, doing this puts the fabric um, like on grain. And then to further make it a square, well, it doesn't have to be a square, it can be like a rectangle, but I'm gonna bring it over to my ironing board, make sure that rectangular square is perfectly squared off and then iron it into place. I'm gonna kind of tug it and everything to make sure the lines on the edges are all straight. And then for pattern pieces that are cut on the fold, I'm just going to fold over one inch on one of the sides of the muslin and iron that. And that is like my cut on fold area. And then I'm gonna put that on the fold of my dress form. So. This is how we make the pattern piece. We bring over our blocked piece of muslin and we pin it on the form. You wanna make sure that there are no, like there's no areas pulling. So what I'm doing right now is I'm snipping into the fabric along the curve so that I can pull the fabric and make it go into that pattern area without it pulling at all or like having little ripples in the fabric. I'm doing it at the waistline as well so I can pull it. And I'm actually patterning the whole front waist area right now because for this dress, I'm gonna have an option with and without that little boning seam right there. So as you can see, that fabric is completely flat. That's what you want. You want no pulls at all. And then I'm gonna get my pencil that's not super sharp, kind of dull, and I'm just gonna make little dots all along the lines that I marked out earlier. I'm not gonna draw lines, I'm just creating little dots because once I take this muslin off the form, I can use a ruler, a straight ruler and a curved ruler to make those lines nice and smooth. After that, I'm going to trim that piece to have like about a quarter inch seam allowance. This isn't real seam allowance, just, this is just so I can pin it back up on the form. But I'm gonna pin that up on the form before I move on to my next piece. And then I'm gonna repeat the exact same process that I did before. So same exact process, every single piece. This should not be fast. You should be going slow. This should be obnoxiously slow. That's how you know you're doing it right. But yeah, um, a question I get a lot is how did I learn how to do this? I went to fashion school. So I do have a degree in fashion design. So that is how I learned how to do this. So yeah. Um, but that is how I drape and I'm just gonna let you guys watch me drape the rest of the dress.
Also, every time I pin it back up on the form, I wanna be checking to make sure those lines I marked also match up with the draping tape. So right here on the shoulders, I'm realizing it doesn't match up. So I'm gonna change that um, seam again. And once I pin everything up together, I wanna see if there's anything that I'm gonna to wanna to change. And I can already tell like in the front, that dart, the dart that's going vertically does not line up with that boning seam. So that is something that is going to also need to change because um, if your seams don't line up, like your darts and your vertical seams, it just looks homemade. So that's something that I am going to need to fix. Okay, so my fabric swatches just came in. I right, ordered a bunch from Fabric Wholesale Direct. Um, you guys, it is so much cheaper to order fabric online than it is to go and buy fabric in store. So like, no shade to Joann's. Y'all know I love shopping at Joann's. Honestly, I get probably like most of my fabric there because I'm not someone who plans in advance usually. I usually just go to Joann's, find something that works and buy it. Um, I feel like they get a bad rap, honestly, because people are like, oh, they don't have enough apparel fabric. I always find something at Joann's that can work for me. But if I'm planning in advance, I will try and order online because it's way cheaper. For example, I got a swatch from Fabric Wholesale Direct. The chiffon, I think it's $2.99 a yard. At Joann's, it's like $15.99. $2.99 a yard. Now, I think you need like five yards for this project. Guys, so that either be $15 from here. 75, is that 15, six, well, 15-ish times five? 75, yeah. Do you wanna pay $75 because you didn't plan out or $15? You guys, you want a $15 prom dress? Well, actually you need to order another fabric too for the, the lining, but still. You're gonna pay for a $30 prom dress or you're gonna pay a hundred something dollars for a prom dress. Guys, people always complain that fabric is expensive. It's not if you get it online. So here are all my swatches. Woo, let's go through them. Um, I couldn't figure out if I wanted a light pink or a pink. So here are these swatches. They, they look white in the camera. Oh, not really. You can tell that they're pink. They're like a really icy, more of like a, um, a cool toned or neutral toned. It's definitely more cool than warm, icy pink. It's like very close to white, but it's still clearly pink. I love that. That for me, like I know I'm not going to prom, but I will be wearing this dress. That looks better on my skin tone than a warmer pink. I used to think a warmer pink looked better on me. Like here's a warmer pink compared to the icier pink. Um, I used to think a warmer pink looked better on me until I got color matched or whatever at those like, like, you know, when they put the fabric on you and they like pull it off and they're like, you're an autumn, you're a winter, I'm a winter. And cooler, like more gemmy colors look better on me and like icy pastels, they say. So we're gonna go with that. So here is the chiffon. Here is some polyester lining. I do not love the lining for this dress because it's super it's not very drapey and for this dress I want something a little more drapey even though it is just the lining like it's gonna look a little bit cheap so I have swatches in different colors of their charmeuse and stretch charmeuse this would work a lot better even though it's not super drapey just it looks you can just tell like it looks more high quality and people always are like oh don't get polyester charmeuse it looks so cheap you guys do all my clothes look cheap that I make no, and I usually use like polyester charmeuse for things. As long as you get swatches or you go and feel in the store and you like drape it and it looks good, have confidence in yourself. As long as you sew it good, it'll look good, okay? Yeah, and then here's the stretch charmeuse. So these are both good, they could work. And then here is the regular pink. Because remember I said I got, wait, I'm missing one. Yep, I got a light pink and a regular pink chiffon to see which one I like more. I think most people would like this more, but I like this more. This on a large scale, I think would be too pink. It'd end up being like Barbie pink. And I'm really going for that light, fluttery look. I don't know how to describe it, but this is the vision, you guys. So here's more, and this is pink, this is light pink. The color match across the board for things that were pink or light pink from this website were not exact. Yeah, so this is light pink and this is light pink. These are not an exact color match. They look pretty good on camera, but this is darker and more peachier than this. So that's why I got swatches before committing. Yeah, I've been talking for a while. I should shut the heck up. Anyways, let's go to Joann's. I want to bring these swatches and see if we like this better or what they have in store. And you know, let's just figure it out. So let's go right now.
Okay, we're back. Um, actually, <laughs> I lied. I already went to Joanne's beforehand and <laughs> tricked ya. Anyways, after going to Joanne's, you just saw me, I'm deciding to get this light pink chiffon. I just think this icy color is gorgeous. And I'm going to order another pink charmeuse off of a different website just because the pink char light pink charmeuse doesn't exist on this website. It's only pink and it seems dark right so i found another website that looked light and they don't need to be perfect color matches because this is going to be completely overlaid on it but they look pretty good and i had faith in it because it was only like four dollars a yard so pretty cheap i ordered that but yeah so this is going to be made last i'm going to finish making the prototype first then i'm going to make the blue dress the planer dress and then i'm going to make the pink dress since it's the most complicated so wish me luck Okay guys, so here is the prototype for the top. Um, it's looking pretty good other than the fact that the straps are going like, they start going good, see? And then they curve out about right here and they shouldn't do that. So they should go straight up this way. They are gonna be like kind of a wider neck, you know, like I want it to be right at the edge of my shoulders, but it shouldn't do this curve situation that it's doing so that is something to fix other than that the darts look really good the bus looks really good there's definitely some room in here for me in the bus so if you have a larger bus like this would probably be even better but on me it's also slaying um this looks pretty good the waistline is ending exactly where i want it to be so that is the only change we need to make as you can see the dress is pinned up over here none of this is sewn but it's just pinned the flounces are starting to look really good even without it being sewn. I'm really happy with the size of each tier and the amount of flounce it has, the amount of volume. So slay Bella actually sew this. So everyone say good job Bella good for job, slay Bella. <laughs> <laughs> for slaying the top prototype. And then where's the gathered? If you're like, hmm, Kiki, I thought this was gonna be gathered. Yes, it is. But I also wanted to have the option to not have the gathers around the bust. See, so this would be like, this would be like a regular top. And it also serves as the lining for the gathered part. So let me pop this just over, hold on. So look, here's the gather. This is stiffer fabric. So like, it's not as like soft and like, you know, it doesn't drape as nicely, but look at that. So perfect, so cute. It's gonna look, I really like the gathers with the flounces and I like the no gathers with no flounces because I feel like you go from like really sleek and then you go to like very whimsical fairy girl, right? Very cute. Okay, I actually decided after looking at this a little bit longer that I do wanna make another change other than the straps. Um, I wanna take about three quarters of an inch away at each of these sides, um, kind of right at the side seam. So not three quarters of an inch here, but a little bit, and then all the way down to three quarters of an inch total at the waist, just because this corset part is a little bit too loose. Like this would be a lot better, see? Okay. Okay, so that's where we're gonna end the video today. I do wanna give you a little sneak peek because that pink dress is currently getting sewn. She's not completely done. Um, and then the blue dress right behind it, that periwinkle fabric is the midi dress and that is done. So. Um, when this is going up, you should expect the pattern and tutorial to come out within a week. Um, so whenever I'm posting this, count seven days and that's when the pattern and tutorial should be posted, if not before then. But like, let's not get too excited, okay? Like, let's not push ourselves because I still gotta make sure that everything is good in that pattern pack. If you've bought a pattern from me before, you know a lot goes into that, so we can't rush it, but we've done a lot of prototyping um we've done a lot of sewing and i'm actually planning on finishing this pink dress today today so yeah um let me know since this dress is so customizable my question of the day for you is how would you sew this would you do all tiers would you do three tiers would you do two would you do none would you do sleeves would you do gathers around the bust like let me know what your vision is because also i think i want to make a third version of this not right now though like 
when I have free time in thir 30 years. So um, <laughs> let me know. And if you like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up because it's the easiest way to support your favorite creators for free. Also feel free to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My handle is Kiana Bonolo. Subscribe, turn on the notification bell, especially if you're planning on buying the pattern because you know I give out a discount the first two days um, from when I release the video and pattern. So you don't want to miss out on that. Um, but yeah, I think that is everything. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.